Hi, I'm Jeff Pierens. I am the brewer of Brouwerij Dodemaalderij, located in Belgium, Isegem. And I've been brewing since uh, 2011. Uh, I started brewing because I love a good glass of beer. And still in Belgium, there were so many good beers, there was not enough beer for me. So I started making my own tweaky, different styles of beer, using traditional style, being Belgium, uh, mixing it up with, well, let's say, progressive and creative uh, brewing. Um, I built my own brewery. In 2011, I started brewing, but in 2016, I built my own brewery, where I'm still at right now, and I'm so happy to be here in Brussels, where I can, sh well, let me say, show off my beers a bit. Um, and I, I am so happy I can do that here. I get the opportunity to show off my beers. I'm a small brewer who tries to prove that there is a lot of beer going on and there's still not everything that has been done. And what have you done that's unusual? You're drinking now what you call a blonde, but it's not a blonde. What yeah, happened well, there? This is a, let me say, kind of a fuck you I give to people who ask me for blonde beer. I hate people who are just so uh, ignorant they ask for blonde beer because blonde is a color. Color is unimportant. Would you drive the yellow car, the red car, or the blue car? It's a fucking car. You would say how many wheels it needs. So in beer, it's the same thing. If you, if you ask me for a blonde beer, I don't know what you want. Do you need a sour? Do you need a bitter? So I made this beer as a blonde beer, the recipe of a blonde beer, and it is blonde in taste, but it is pitch black in color. I call it a mind fucking blonde because I like to mind fuck you and to awaken you. Don't choose beer by color, choose it by alcohol level, by flavor, by taste, not by color. Where do you hope to take your brewery now that you've uh, been commercially releasing beers? Well, to be honest, nowhere. I'm a small brewer and I'm not looking for getting bigger. I'm not looking for more attention. I'm not looking for anything. I'm a small, humble brewer and I like to brew my beer. And I like people enjoying it, and that's about it. I don't want to be big. I like to be small. Did you start as a home brewer, or did you learn? Where did well, you I, learn your brewing? Your well, uh, there is a word in, in Dutch, it's uh, autodidactis. Uh, well, I, I taught myself most of the stuff, but I had very good mentors. Um, I, I talked a lot to other brewers in Belgium who were, who were like the Alvin guys, uh, the Struis, uh, Hof de Dormal, all friends of mine. So they taught me a lot in, in, in the, the passing by, you know. So I, was, I taught myself, and I started out in 2011 home brewing. And in 2012, I launched my first beer on the market. The only thing that was so important for me back then was brew your own beer. You can let, let it sell to everyone, but you brew it yourself. I was not the salesman, I was the brewer. So I went only down to breweries where I could brew my beer myself. And uh, from 2011 up until 15, when I started my own brewery, I was in, well, in Struis, in Alvin, uh, in Gavrhopke, um, uh, I did so many breweries, and I got taught a little bit everywhere. So it's, it's a combination of having good people around you, have good people surround you, giving you the tricks and treats and the tweaks. And well, I, made, I, I did my own thing with it, and that's how you create your own style in beer. There are 60 brewers here. Not all brewers have the same style. They always have their personal tweak to it. That's what I like. What's your next innovation? As I just said, there is no innovation in beer. Be progressive. Be creative. Don't try to innovate because innovation is impossible in beer. Everything has been done. 